We are diving into a hot topic in the automotive world. The United Auto Workers is currently on strike. And in this video, we're gonna talk about exactly how these strikes at Ford Motor Company impacts you, the customer, and also the vehicle ordering process. So let's get started. What's up guys, Mitchell Watts with Town & Country TV and the United Auto Workers, UAW for short, is on strike at the big three auto manufacturers and they've gotten a lot of attention recently. Now the striking workers are demanding better wages, working conditions, and job security. Now these strikes affect Ford and also the other manufacturers as well, but I'm confident that you the end consumer is also going to feel the pain as well. And in this video, I'm not gonna talk about politics, and I'm not gonna talk about uh, my opinion. You're not gonna be hearing that at all on this strike. Instead, I'm going to help you understand and navigate this crisis as a customer. Now, the first and the biggest impact that these strikes will have is through vehicle availability. <laughs> so when the production line comes to a halt, it can absolutely lead to a shortage of new vehicles at the dealership. Now, this will lead to limited choices and longer wait times for those that are looking to purchase a Ford vehicle. But my concern is that this actually ends up starting to look like a microchip shortage version 2.0. Now, let's say that you've ordered a Ford vehicle before the strike actually happened, and you're not going to get that vehicle if that plant is on strike. That's pretty self-explanatory. But there is some hope. The first thing that I would do is I would see which four plants are currently on strike and see if your vehicle is affected. At the time of this recording, the Michigan assembly plant is on strike. This is the plant that assembles the Ford Bronco. The other plant that's on strike is the Kentucky truck plant. This is where they make the Lincoln Navigator, the Expedition, and the Ford Super Duty. And speaking of Super Duty, we're we're giving one away. Not just any Super Duty, we're giving away that Super Duty. Plus $10,000 in cold hard cash. Hit the link down below to get entered. Everything you buy on tccustoms.com gets you entered to win. And for a very brief period of time, we're running 15 times entries. But as I mentioned, that's gonna end very soon. So go ahead and check out that link. Now back to the content. If you have a vehicle on order with a local Ford dealership, you need to lean on them for help. And the reason is because every situation is different. But let's say you have a Bronco on order and that it's not been scheduled for production yet. In this situation, you do not need to hold your breath. I doubt that vehicle is going to get scheduled for production while the vehicle's plant is on strike. Now, if this is you, you probably need to find a vehicle on the ground at a Ford dealership assuming that you need the truck like in a, in a hurry or something. Now, we don't know how long the strike is gonna last either. If you want to cancel your order, you need to call your dealership first to make sure you can get your money back. Now, most dealerships will give you a deposit back if that order hasn't been scheduled for production. I know that's how our dealership operates anyway. Now, if you have a Bronco that has been scheduled for production, in this situation, the vehicle will be built. Ford's not going to like delete the order or delete the VIN number or anything like that. I can count on the number, like one hand, the number of times that I've actually seen a VIN canceled. And that's in 25 years of experience in this business. So what you need to know is that Ford is going to be updating their system, if you've got a VIN number, every two to three days. Meaning that while the strike is going on, they're going to push back that scheduled date two to three days at a time. Don't expect any movement in the middle while this whole strike is going on. But what that tells me, it sounds like Ford's gonna be keeping the order with these vehicles. That, let me say it this way. It sounds like Ford is gonna be keeping the oldest VIN numbers are gonna be the first out the door when the strike is over. You're not losing your place in line. I guess is a better way of saying it than just saying order uh, because we're talking about vehicle orders and then the order of the order Anyways, so these strikes can disrupt the manufacturing process, obviously, but not just in the way that you think. Most of Ford's suppliers will be affected by these strikes as well. This will make any vehicle order take a lot longer than normal, and not just the vehicles at the striking plants. Now, think about it this way. The map goes on strike. Michigan Assembly Plant goes on strike. Ford no longer needs parts for the Bronco, so the parts suppliers are out of work for the Bronco. The parts suppliers lay off some workers to stay afloat. Then those same parts suppliers can't make parts for other Ford vehicles that they also supply to Ford, and those plants are not on strike. So it's kind of like a circle here. 
Uh, but Ford is well aware of how this impacts the customers themselves. And that's why Bill Ford just recently had a speech at the Rouge plant calling to end the strikes. This is the first time I ever remember seeing a lead of a company talking publicly about a UAW contract. The UAW strikes, they also can have a broad effect, not just on the suppliers, not just on Ford, not just on the customers, but also the dealerships. You think about this, uh, it's going to reduce the inventory. It's going to make it longer times to actually get your vehicle ordered. And generally, it's going to create a lot of uncertainty. And that's going to make it very difficult for some of these dealers to actually take care of the customer. But there's a real ugly side to this. So if the inventory goes way back down, I'm scared of how dealers are going to treat their customers. I mean, y'all do remember what happened back with the microchip shortage issue, right? Like dealers were gouging their customers. Oh yeah, I know you waited for this vehicle for three years, but yeah, uh, market conditions have changed. And I know we verbally agreed to MSRP, but now congratulations, you're going to get to pay 10 grand more for the same vehicle that you've been waiting all this time for. Now, the good news is not all dealerships are like that. There are great dealerships out there that don't screw their customers and actually treat them right. Uh, so, uh, you know, shameless plug, that's not us. We don't do that. So, yeah, all of our pre-existing deals that we've got, like the 2024 F-150 ordering at invoice pricing, that's not going to go away because, you know, we're not going to change that in the middle of the program just because Ford went on strike. It's just not how you do proper business. So, and by the way, 24 F-150s, I guess I'm mentioning it. If you want to order your 24 F-150 at invoice pricing, guaranteed, um, just call the phone number on the screen. We'll be happy to take care of you and give it to you in writing. Crazy concept, right? Anyways, so what can a customer do to navigate this current situation? I got a couple of tips for you. Keep an eye on the news and this YouTube channel for the latest information about the strikes. If you like this video and let us know by hitting the like button, we can actually keep you up to date more on topics just like this and how it affects you. Keep an open line of communication with your dealer. They are the best source of information for your vehicle's order status. Inventory levels are currently still really good, and that is probably going to change very fast if this strike continues. So I guess the old saying is, get it while the getting is good. If you don't want to wait for this to blow over, you need to consider looking at a used car. Keep in mind, if you wait too long, prices for used vehicles will go up as the new car inventory goes down. Since the prices are going to fluctuate going up and down, you need to talk to the bank and see if you can lock in a good rate and a good term. I am confident that Ford Motor Company and the UAW will come to an agreement, but nobody knows how long that's going to take. Don't forget to enter our ultimate F-250 giveaway plus $10,000 in cash. Link is down in the description or go to tccustoms.com. Thanks so much for watching this video and have a great day. Peace.